Hallo Hallöchen, ich melde mich nochmal aus dem Schnitt mit ein paar kleinen Informationen für euch. Wie ihr wisst oder wie ihr bestimmt schon öfters gehört habt, jetzt bei Computex ist an manchen Ständen leider unser Mikrofon ausgefallen und das war leider auch bei der Aufnahme hier der Fall. Daher hat mein Handy-Mikrofon das Ganze aufgenommen, von daher könnt ihr manche Dinge vielleicht nicht verstehen, ja, die wir da sagen. Wir haben uns aber auch dazu entschieden, hier dass ich jetzt keine Untertitel mehr reinzumachen, weil das Ganze einfach unglaublich aufwendig ist und wie ihr wisst, produziere ich gerade vor und das Ganze ist ein bisschen, ja, einfach aufwendig. Von daher entschuldigt das bitte, wenn man vielleicht ein bisschen was nicht hört, dann versuche ich möglichst es ja so zu machen, dass ihr vielleicht dort Untertitel bekommt. Das Problem ist natürlich meistens, weil sie selber dann nicht mehr, was wir da sagen, was wir da besprechen. Von daher, ich wünsche euch aber ganz viel Spaß jetzt trotzdem mit Anorex, denn das ist eine Firma, die hört es in sich. Wir sind jetzt hier bei Anorex. 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 And we are with? Uh, I am Rafa from Spain and I am the CEO. The CEO? Yes. Für euch gibt es wieder Untertitel auf Deutsch natürlich. So, what you have here for cases for? Yes, Anorex is mainly focused on the PC cases, uh, cooling systems for air cooling, for water cooling and fans, uh, power supplies. Okay. So the value or the core value for Anorex is the user experience. So it's not only looking pretty or looking different, but also uh, maintaining a high standard of quality. But most of all, is that uh, when you use it from the unboxing, the daily use, that is something that you can resonate with. Okay. So you got really fancy looking CPU. Which price point are we talking about from, for example, for this? And what's the features of this? Yes, for this one, um, sorry for the live thing, because this one has the digital screen. Yeah. So it can show the CPU temperature, the GPU temperature, and the CPU usage. So it's the double tower with the two fans and the digital, digital screen, which you can remove magnetically. And then Put it back. And the main point is that the, the design is offset, so there is no RAM issue. Yeah. And then uh, it's not a double tower. Normally, it's a little bit bigger, so the weight makes the yeah. suffer a little bit more for the motherboard. So we uh, shrink a little bit, but maintaining the same uh, TDP. So for this one, for example, it's around for an i9. We tested. Uh, i9 14900k and it can hold up up to 270 watts okay so we can hold it no problem um, and the main thing that makes it different not only because of the screen but mainly because of our own fun we make it from zero uh, selecting and uh, uh, fine-tuning the coils the motor the fan blade design the everything is made for air pressure so normally the standard is around for air cooler for water coolers it usually the air pressure is around two point something three at max and the anorex fan is 4.4 .4 okay. air pressure at max rpm or yes at max rpm which is 2600 okay that's really impressive yeah, i have you, to say you can you can feel it hier kommt auf jeden Fall ordentlich Luft durch. Also, man geht. Es ist wirklich, it's really much, much air coming through. Yes. This heat suit. And this one is the smaller version. Yes, it's the same. I mean, it has the same screen, but in the, but in the general, double tower and it's a single tower. Single tower. Yeah. yeah. Twice of them. This one. Okay, and you got cases as well, I've seen. Yeah. For example, this, this looks really big. Yes. And impressive. Yeah, and I will tell you why. Yes. This is one of our new prototypes. It's a, our code name is Rack, but it has no final name yet. And the main point for this for this model is the modularity. So all the rails for fan installation yes. are removable. So you can remove the rails, take it out, install the fan outside, and then put it back. The same for the top part. And even for the side, you can see here. 
This is four millimeters, four, four centimeters for cable, yeah. for cable management. But the Speed side fans, this. you can install three fans here, 12 or 14. You can install water cooler up to 360, no problem, or four, uh, 480 even. And for installation, instead of going to make everything inside, you just can take it out directly. Yeah. Make the installation. If you don't want the, if you want to only use one fan, you dismount the, this piece. Or if you want to install SSD or HDDs, for example, for designers or professionals that use many HDDs, you can install here and have it over, to make it more clear. And then, yes, pull it back. And that's it. Yes. So this is one of the main main design points. This is the modularity, but also applies to the customization. So, for example, if you want to have a screen here, which is the, the this this uh, this configuration right now, you can have a six inch. But if you want to have a nine inch, so you just can pop up, pop up. Yeah. Put here the mesh one, and here you can change and put the, the put the screen one. Okay. So you can have one screen, two screen, or none screen. So it's, it's up to you. And then all the all the fans is uh, compatible with 12 and the 14, because with the 14 fans you can reduce the noise, noise with a lower the RPM. Yes. Right. And it's also prepared for the. For the back the motherboards, yeah, and um, that's what's the max GPU length? Do you have measuring it? Um, yes, this is around 40, uh, no, almost around 50. 50 yeah, yes, it looks like 50. Or yeah, 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 because with this one, we wanted to have something that it can work out as not only as a gaming rig but also for custom liquid cooling. So you can install the reservoir here, or the water cooling here, and the water cooler for the GPU here, and still have enough space to yeah. have a big GPU or uh, anything else that you can, you can want to, to build in here, or even a small server can fit it here, no problem. Even with our RGB then, it goes well under the desk. Yes. <laughs> but in this case, it's mostly impressive when you put it on the table for sure. Yes. With how you need. You put everything on it. Yes, yeah, yeah, totally right. But for, for the cases, as you can say, the most controversial right now, the old flagship that everyone loves it, is the DM400. Awesome. Uh, yes, we try to make something different. So we try to blend the the wooden trend, the wooden trend for the minimalism and the professional, but still keep some of the older style, like gaming yes. style. So we try to but more everything. aesthetic. Yes, focus more on aesthetic. And it's packed on a really thick steel. So you can you can try to hold it. So it's micro ADX, but it's almost six kilograms. Like SPCC, yes, one millimeter, or? uh, 0 0.8. Yeah, okay, that's, 0 .8. that's high. For, yes, for and then for the wood, we layer four layers of bamboo, so it's recyclable, it's uh, eco friendly, and in, in, the, in this way, we can make the trims and the design with a better finish. Yeah, on the, on the top. Uh, for fans, yes. For water cooler, only two to forty. Ah, because for with the radiator. Yes, yes. Where yes, the tubes right. go in, it's going to Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's a case. A really cool case for sure. Yeah, this is something that we tried, and this is something we want to do with NRXs. Then we follow the trends, and we follow the what people would like to buy in terms of information. But you know, here you can see a lot of brands. So they usually they might try to get something that have 
it sounds good. So you're located as well in Spain, or where? Do yeah, you I from? work. I work normally in Spain, but I usually back, go back and forth to the factories to check everything. Uh, Inorec is a really small team, so I am the CEO. I am the product developer. I am designer. So I am sales. So I try to do as much as I can right now because we are a small team. We don't have a like a really big backing investor, so we try to keep up small. And also, this is kind of an advantage because with this you can offer the, a small team, small company, so fit, uh, cost is lower. Yeah. So we can offer uh, more for the price to the end user. Yeah. Speaking to components, you got a fine looking AIO here, like two of them. Could you tell us something about the AIO? Yeah, for this model we just uh, show this uh, first uh, try, it's not yet finished, but the most of it is that we are looking for something uh, that keeps the RGB, but in a more lower, yes, more simple way, and then for example for this, uh, this set of fans, it's one block, oh. so you can, you only have one cable, one cable. yes, so reduce the cable management, and make it more more friendly. And here the same one. And this is a different one which is a, like more like Prisma with a geometric design. Yeah. It looks some some like uh what's the LT? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally. it's inspired. It's inspired. Yeah. It's inspired of this. But uh, in a good way. But no, I have to tell I have to tell you the feedback I uh, we got and I don't know why I can tell you the, the reason why but many people say that they like more this design that the uh, initial did yeah. more. I can ask uh, yeah, yes. But for me it just inspired. Yes. Yeah. I really yeah. like the the, the, the prisma. Yeah, so we try to make something on our own but uh, in spite of that. Yeah, yeah. inspiration is really good thing out also because you're doing your own way with Pants, for example, yeah, using yeah. them from, from 0 to 100. Yeah, totally. Yeah, for here you can see the, the yes. So this is the latest model of the fan. We just uh, improved uh, the blade design. So we just changed to make more, uh, improve the aerodynamics. So the wind to then hit directly the blade. So you just smooth with it. And this can reduce the vibration of the blade, and also reduce the result is that they reduce the noise. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, and also makes a, a good uh, yeah it looks, effect. Yeah, and you got power supplies as well. Yeah, they're also looking like like the deep the gamer store a little, a little like this because of the. Yeah, yeah, the, the 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 grill. But the most of it, if you if you see the Anorex logo, we try to to keep up with the uh, ID design, so you can feel each yeah. of the product. You can see the this this shape. Yeah. You can feel any any of the product. You can feel this this shape. So we want to the, the people to identify the brand from from far away, but not making it too obvious, like not uh, needing to. Put, really big logos yeah. or really much logo. We want to keep it uh, elegant and modern, but still having some ID that uh, people can, uh, can identify. And you're selling in Spain? No, right now we are already selling in the, uh, we are selling already in the Spain, in the Poland, in Amazon for Europe, uh, South Asia for Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, also Japan, Latin America, for South, South America, for Argentina, Mexico, yeah. but uh, I have to tell you that for Germany it's going to be really small. I hope so. Everything goes well. Okay, talking about the price, which is it like, for example, this is like, is it an 850 watt price? This is 1000. 1000 watts, uh, full modular, uh, gold. Efficiency, uh, 
um, on cybernetics, not, yes. not a cost cybernetics. Class. Yes, we, we partner yes. with uh, cybernetics because they are uh, some someone that, that you can rely on. Yeah. So in terms of the, developing the, the power supply, we directly ask them how to improve, how to what to change, how to make fine tuning. So because they are really they share our core values to end user. Yeah. So. Uh, for cybernetics, we just follow the advice and make the change that they that they ask for. Okay, and for a thousand watt power supply, the MSRP is. Uh, this one in euro, if I'm not mistaken, is around one forty nine. Okay. Around the MSRP. Okay, and for the air output rules, for example, like if you or did or do you. Uh, have an MSRP for the AI output because you said it's in yes. development currently? Yes, uh, no, this one we are already selling, this model. Ah. This model we are already selling, this model is around 109, 110 the euro. Okay. For the 360, for the 240 is uh, 89. That's a really good price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we try to push the specifications as much as we can, maintaining the, the high quality and keeping the price as competitive as, as, as we can. Possible. Yes, yes. As you can sell the AIO for like 89 for a 360 millimeter, but then nobody. Yes, you, we you trust you. Because if you. No, and also they, they won't trust it. You can do something that a 360 with such a low price, most of the people will doubt. Why, yeah. why so cheap? Yeah. You know, I mean, the materials, the quality, it has a cost. So it's not about making it cheaper, it's about keeping it real. Yeah. That's a good, a good way to perform. I think I will look on this company definitely more. Thank you. You got a website? It's uh, anorex.com. Anorex yeah. And then you also you can link it in the yeah, you also can find us in Instagram, TikTok, X, YouTube, or any social media. You can also find us as anyways. Perfect. Then I'm gonna thank you for your no, information about the AIO. Thanks to you, and then if you allow me, I will give you a paper craft for a small PM400 so you can mount it. Thank you. Und damit sind wir auch durch bei NRX und ich muss sagen, ich bin extrem überrascht. Wir haben jetzt ja gerade mit dem CEO gesprochen und der CEO macht wirklich einen Eindruck. Er weiß, wovon er redet. Er weiß ganz genau, was da ist, was wie wo ist. Und er weiß auch ganz genau die Stellschrauben, die es eben bei dem Markt hier zu drehen gilt. Und deswegen, NRX ist auf jeden Fall eine, Ex eine Marke die auf jeden Fall daraus machen soll. Deswegen machen die das Ganze hier auch. Deswegen scheinen wir uns auch kleinere Firmen, weil sie eben auch kleinere Firmen verdient haben, dass wir hier gemeinsam das auch haben. Weil genau die kleinsten Firmen genau das sind, was die größte Innovation hier bei uns auf der Computex sein wird. Von daher hängt es auf jeden Fall ein großer Pluspunkt. Und wir werden das Ganze ein bisschen mehr beobachten. Den Link zu der Website finden wir, wenn wir es nicht vergessen. Und in der Videoschau ansonsten nrx.com gibt auch hier noch mal den Namen. Und wir gehen jetzt weiter zum nächsten Stand und den seht ihr dann morgen. Für uns sind es fünf Minuten für euch ein paar Stunden.